Welcome to How to Cook That. I'm Anne Reardon and today we're making a Candy Crush cake. Now Candy Crush is a free game that's currently being played 700 million times a day. Despite being free to download, it's currently the top grossing app in the iTunes store but we'll talk more about that later. To make your cake, the first thing you're going to need to do is bake a cake. I made mine 15 centimetres square on the top and completely cover it in buttercream. You can use the raspberry buttercream or plain buttercream and colour it with a little bit of red food colour. The cake recipes and the buttercream recipe are all on the website howtocookthat.net and there's a link in the description below the video. Use your spatula to smooth it out as much as you can and run the spatula up the sides and then gently fold over any little bits that you have sticking up on the top edge by just smoothing it into the middle of the cake. The Candy Crush icon has rounded corners so run your spatula up and then around each corner to smooth it off. Then wipe your cake platter as clean as you can using a damp piece of paper towel, being careful not to bump the cake. Put the remaining buttercream into a piping bag fitted with a round nozzle. If you don't have a piping bag, you can use a plastic bag and just cut off the corner, but it's not going to be as rounded as if you have the nozzle for this one. Pipe a cylinder of your buttercream along the top edge, turning it when you get to the corners so that they are rounded. Next, we need to fill and smooth that gap that's along the side of the cake. And just get a little bit of extra buttercream on your spatula and spread it across the gap. Then use the straight edge of your spatula to smooth the side out again. And place that in the fridge for at least 30 minutes for the buttercream to firm up. While it's doing that, print out your logo in the size of your cake. I've put the logo in the size that I'm using here on the website so you can download that there. Put some non-stick baking paper over the top and use the picture as your template to spread some chocolate into the right circle size, making sure there's more chocolate heaped in the middle so that it's not completely flat. You can smooth the surface of this by just lifting and lowering the edges of the paper a couple of times. Then take some colourful round candies. I'm using soft sugar pearls, which I just purchased from the baking section of the local supermarket, and sprinkle them over the top, making sure you get an even spread. Even though Candy Crush is free to download, it is currently bringing in $850,000 a day for the game developers. And if you're a Candy Crush addict, I want to know what level you're up to and how much you've spent on it. I'm only up to a very early level 19 and I haven't spent any money on it at all. And if you don't want to get ripped off or if you have little kids who are playing this game, you can turn off in-app purchases by going to Settings, General, then click on Restrictions, in-app purchases and you can turn them on and off at any time. So if you do want to go back on a different app and buy something, you can turn them back on and then turn them back off again later. And while you're there, why not also set the age restrictions to an appropriate level and your rating restrictions for movies, games, music and TV shows. Get another sheet of baking paper and pipe lots of chocolate over the jelly bean shape and smooth it out along the top and let it set. And then to make the base of the jelly bean so that it sticks up a bit higher, flip it over and add M&Ms to the underside. You could just make a second half of the jelly bean and stick the two together, but it sits better on the cake if it's a bit flat on the underside rather than completely rounded. Once it's set, take a knife and scrape off any little bumps and lumps and smooth out the chocolate. Then roll out some red fondant and use it to cover the jelly bean, wrapping it around underneath and then just gently rub it with your finger to smooth out the surface. For the other candy, pipe the shape out of chocolate and you can leave it plain chocolate or you can add some M&Ms into the middle like I am here to build it up to make a nice oval shape. Then add a circle of M&Ms around the edge, let that set and pipe some more chocolate over the top of them. Then use your knife to smooth out the edges. You could of course make these from solid fondant but I just think it tastes much better if it's got chocolate and lollies in the middle. Once that one is set, cover it in orange fondant and use scissors to trim it up underneath and tuck it under. Then use your finger to smooth it out just like we did with the red jelly bean. If you want it to look shiny, which looks quite good on this one, you can paint it with a mixture of half vodka and half water. The alcohol content will evaporate off and it will stay shiny for around four hours. So if you're not serving it straight away, you'll have to paint this glaze on later once they're on the cake. Take a tiny bit of white fondant and roll it between your finger and the palm of your hand and add it to the candy where the white highlights are on the logo. 
Cut out the inside section of your logo and check that it easily fits onto the centre of your cake and if not, just trim a little bit extra off the edges. Then roll out some white fondant and using the cutout as your template, cut around the square with your rounded corners. Then cut the blue off your paper template and put it back on top and use some blue powdered food colour and a dry paintbrush to dust some colour over the top, making it darker at the edges. Then take the template off and blend it in a little. If you can't get hold of blue powdered colour, then just use your gel colour to colour this fondant blue before you roll it out. Take your cake out of the fridge and place some paper towel over the edge. Then gently rub it with a fondant smoother to make sure your edges are completely flat. If you don't have a fondant smoother, you can use a book or anything that you've got that's flat and repeat that on each side. Take some white fondant and roll it out thinly. Then using a ruler and a pizza cutter, cut thin strips of white. Add the strips of white, bringing them up and overlapping them over the curved buttercream and then trim them to the right height at the base. Make sure that they're evenly spaced and you can use an off cut of white to measure the gap between each one as you add the next one. Once you've added all of your white strips, use a fondant smoother or a book to gently push on the sides to make sure your fondant is flat and stuck to the buttercream. Add your blue fondant square that we made earlier and then the orange candy followed by the giant chocolate freckle and finally your jelly bean and your cake is ready to serve. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and join us next week for a dessert followed by chocolate the next week and then back to cake. You can put all of your cake requests in the comment section below. Have a great week.